Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Do you yeah. feel that it was something that was um, set up? Do you feel that way? I, I don't. But um, I mean, who am or do you I to, feel like it was just random? Like, I feel like it was just some some hatred and some jealousy, and like I say, everybody knew he was back. Everybody knew he was home. He made it clear, you know, that's the week he comes back to you know pass out turkeys. He does it every year, but it was already known he was in the city. I just feel like you know it was just a lot of hatred for him. I feel like it was a lot of jealousy involved. You know, everybody want like I say, people want to be you when you get higher up, and you probably you don't have nothing. You know? How long was he in the city before that day? What was told to me was like two days. He started out that week, that first, that beginning of that week. You know, that Monday, that Sunday or that Monday. And, you know, he went to the 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 cancer center, showed them love. You know, what I'm saying I think that was the day before the incident. So he was already here and planning. I mean, I think I think he had already passed out turkeys before that. Yeah. You know, so. I mean, he was he was there for like a few, maybe a few days or so before, you know, everything before his assassination like that. Yeah. But when when you look at social media and I'm, that's how I got to go by a lot of times, because that's yeah. how people depict a lot of things mm -hmm. now. Which is I sad. Get, and, and I'm going to be honest with you. It's I get, bad and good. It's, I get the same. Yeah. I get the same pressure over here on Boss Talk. So, um, but when I look at it, I see you. Know, how does it make you feel when they say that like you and your boyfriend set up Dolph and you hear all of this stuff? So how does that make you feel? At first, you know, it was at first when I first saw the first one, I was like, man, nobody gonna believe that. I mean, why? I mean, what reason would we have? What what are y'all coming up with? Then here come others, you know, back to back. I'm like, okay, I guess y'all do believe it, cause here it is spreading like crazy, you know. Then the situation with. Um, you know, my artists uh, being involved, you know, they yeah, did that I, I, I out of the blue, too. you know what I'm saying? Like, out of the blue, as soon as I mention my artist, now he's involved. You know, yeah. like, it's like when I mention somebody, now y'all want to add somebody, that person that I just mentioned. So when does the conspiracy stop? Like, so nobody ain't caught this yet. Like, every day is something different, and every day they add something. They can't stick to just one conspiracy, you know. Yeah. Now you got... All kind of stuff, Illuminati situation, you know. I'm pregnant with Young Dolph's baby, and that's the reason why I got rid of him, bro. What is that? I mean, you just hear all mm -hmm. this crazy, unnecessary stuff. When at the end of the day, just like everybody say in in my hood in in Memphis, you know, Dolph at that point he just got caught slipping, and he was in a situation where. He was just involved with some jealous people and some hating people, and that's how he got hit. It, it could have happened anywhere in the city, you know, because this is this wasn't their first attempt, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm just saying, like, I just, I couldn't see it. I couldn't have, see why anybody caught, you know, wanted to accuse us out of everybody. Have you gotten any threats behind it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They started that night. You know, after everything was going, man, call after call, you know, people, you know, threatening to kill my family, my nephews. They, I mean, it's it's been a lot, but I don't think anybody's ever uh, showed up at the store, not that I know of, but, you know, calls, um, a lot of messages on our pages. Um, my parents' personal numbers were put all over the web. Um, that was a real headache, you know, because they got calls in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. you know, which led my father to actually, you know, get protection. You know, my dad, my dad hates guns. And, you know, the only thing he'll say is, is nothing good comes from a gun because, you know, the person in front of it is going to end up being a black man. And I don't want to be responsible for killing my people. I just don't, you know. So that hurt him to have to do that. But, you know, we got so many crazy people out here. You don't know who's just playing your with you or you know, you don't know who's serious, you know? So yeah. it's it's just been it's been a little been a little rough, but you know, as time goes, I I've, I've gotten stronger. Uh, is it is it, I mean, what does God play a part in that? I mean, do you do do you do you put God first in, in what you do now more? Does it bring you closer to him or how do, how do you deal with it? It's pretty much it got to be hectic. Well, it's a lot of meditation. I can yeah. say that I do meditate. I'm a strong believer in in uh, the spiritual universe and things like. I, I'm a strong believer in the chakras, seven yeah. chakras being aligned. All of that energy, that positive energy that you have to instill in yourself to face another day, you know. But you know, my my family, we do believe in God. You know, we believe that He is the head of our life, and He's the only one responsible for us. And he's also the only one responsible for our reputation. Can't nobody break that, you know what I'm saying, 
if he's going to protect it. That's that's kind of how my mom looks at it. She's probably the strongest one. You know, shout out to my mom, Pamela Hill. I love you. Shout out, Pamela. Um, she's been the strongest one in all of this because everyone's been, I've been wanting to just lose it mentally. But just listening to her and saying, you don't need to just li just stop listening to them. It doesn't matter what they say. You know, what, is, what does God say? What is God telling you? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.